Catherine Grosby's life ended only hours, maybe days after she helped Charlie Malzahn get out of jail. And we're now listening in on their conversations, intimate phone conversations just handed over by police. ABC 15's Mike Pelton with a big story tonight, seeing into the mind of an accused killer. Well, Charlie's sister told me he and Catherine met during a chance encounter last summer and started a relationship that lasted when he went to jail. What you are about to hear is a very small sample of the phone calls between the two, the buildup before Catherine was killed back in October. This is a call from and paid for by Charlie Malzahn, Coconino County Jail. In jail last September, accused of stealing his sister's car, 27-year-old Charlie Malzahn often calls 44-year-old Catherine Grosby. Can you come get me? I hate Catherine, I'm sitting. Catherine, I'm sitting here waiting for you. Will you please come get me? I mean, I'm going to slick my hair back with some gel. I'm going to put deodorant on. This is a call from September 9th. The two discuss the process of getting Charlie out of jail. Because if we do this, we're in this together. All right, for the long haul. Got it. For the long haul. Yes. The call ends as many do. Mm, I love you so much. <laughs> I love you too. Charlie often asks Catherine to give him the cash he needs for release. Here is September 12th. And we're going to let people think whatever they need to think. We don't care if they like you. You're just going to do your best. Everybody's going to like me because when I'm doing my best, I'm sorry everybody likes me. Now September 15th, Catherine seems willing to put up her car and house to help Charlie. I have $2,000. Mm -hmm. But I don't have $20,000 collateral. What do you mean? I mean, my house doesn't have any equity in it, and my car is not worth 20000 And listen to this on that same call as they discuss the amount of Charlie's bond. $20,000. But I don't think you're that dangerous. Mm. Are you that dangerous? After hitting a snag, Catherine is finally able to bond Charlie out on Friday, October 6th. Here is one of the final calls the night before. I'll see you tomorrow. Yes. Okay. At what time, Catherine? What time are you coming to get me? Um, I should be there by 3.30 or 4. All right. Well, I'll see you then. I love you, Catherine. All right. I love you, too. Sleep well. Mike Pelton, ABC 15, Arizona. Well, it is the very next day. Catherine seen posting bond before disappearing. Her body found later in Mayer. Malzahn named as the only suspect in her murder, but for now, he's behind bars on unrelated charges.